What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Micmac 88 channel here. It's been a while since I made a video. Uh, I'm very busy going on now in my life. But anyway, uh, I didn't want to make this the first video in a long time, but I had to do it since I had the hook in the water for almost a year on this guy. And I'm going to show you the two videos and how I uh, called them out. And because uh, a lot of people on YouTube know about this guy, Moneybag73, and we pretty much we laugh at him because he's like so brainwashed. Matter of fact, I don't think there's anybody more brainwashed on YouTube than this guy. He and I'll go through all the people that he talks about and promotes. This is a death channel. You listen to this guy, and people are gonna look at you like you are cuckoo, literally. So stay away from these channels. This is what I do a lot. Stay away from certain words in people's channels. This is a death channel. You want to lose money like this guy did? Then listen to channels like this. Like I did. Plain and simple. But let's just go back to the videos that I called them out on. And let me go for the first one that I did. Okay, this, this one technically... Um, because I don't know Kevin O'Leary. This, this is a multi bill. This guy, money bags, is always saying paper nothings, and this is what I want to call him out on paper nothings. Billionaire, it's on Shark Tank. Listen, what he says okay. about gold, long or short. Very simple strategy for me in gold. I've been in gold for decades, five percent weighting of my net worth. Maintained quarterly at five percent. I own the GLDs in US pay and I own bullion. So I use the GLD to monitor my five percent weighting. I use it as a, as a buffer for volatility. I never let it go past five percent weighting. I don't want to own gold because it has no yield, but I use it to reduce the volatility of my over net, overall net worth, and it works. But frankly, I think gold will be dead this year. He's right. Gold. 2012, the end of 2012. That was a mistake. It's actually the beginning, but it, mistakes happen. I think that it will be dead, and it is dead. He doesn't want to own gold, but he has to just to balance out all his other billions. When it, when uh, the dollar loses value a little bit, the gold will go up. But as you say, he never keeps more than 5%. This is from become all-time billionaires. You tell him that Moneybag73, go to him and I and tell him that there's that, that, that all those billions he got in his pocket are, are, are paper nothings. I dare you to go up to him. That exactly. I want you to go up to the people that get wealthy, extremely wealthy on paper nothings. Such a joke. Seriously. And that was the first one I called them out on. And this one was the second. $2,400 by next summer. Well, this is a video is over a year already, so I guess he's way off on that one, right? Because his buddies are selling gold, and so he figures we'll pump up his buddy's wealth. Right? Another one, Eric Sprott. Having an interview with people, trying to sucker people back in their days. There's no silver left. The mining spot that the rest of the world don't know about. Next. Here we are. Well, I don't want to call this guy out too much, but I got to do it. He's brainwashed big time, so much more than I. He came and see the truth in front of his face if it smacked him in it, literally. And uh, he's still, he's, I don't know. He'll, he'll wake up when silver hits $8 and stays there for 20 years, and then he'll say, Jesus Christ, what the hell happened to me? Oh, God, I'm such a fool. I made all these videos and trying to people believe that $200 silver is coming. Why? Because by year end, because this guy... Harvey Morgan said so. Wow. Let me go buy my Eagles today. Huh. Another scam artist telling you BS, charges you BS at times to hear crap like this. You tell me you want to pay people to hear stuff like that. Come on, money bags. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay away, people. Stay away. Anything rare. Cash is trash. Gonna get rich. Money's going by up by this amount of money by these guys, Harvey Oregon, who's making money by saying BS. So that was the second time that I called them out. So it took them about a year to catch on. And quite frankly, 
you, if you go to his channel, you can see all the garbage that's on there. But I'll just put the few main ones to let you know. Um, Lindsey Williams, major warning from the elite friend, which is all bullshit. There's no elite friend that's telling Lindsey Williams anything what's coming on. So Lindsey Williams and get become millionaires by charging guys like this to hear crap. Are you kidding me? If this guy was really leaking real information from the ultra elite, this dude would have been buried Lindsey Williams in the ground years ago. It's a joke. Get out of here. Please believe in that stuff. Come on, paying money to listen to shit. The last couple videos he made or CDs was a joke, wasn't it, the money bags? What happened to the last one? Yeah, right? Uh-huh, very... Because Jay Stimps was very crying about that one, too. Guys, listen to the crap. Silver and assurance against a dollar collapse. Hmm, really? Make a video on that that it does. I made videos prove that it doesn't. When in history, silver was an insurance against a collapse. Tell me. You can't. You're assuming. Don't, don't be assuming. Because history has proven that it is not an insurance against a collapse. Wait. $5,000 gold. $1,000 silver. We gotta watch this video for a minute. Oh wait, before that, another video. Gold, $50,000 an ounce. Oh my God. Whew. He's really pumping out these videos, but watch how this guy gets wet dreams making these videos. It's actually very sad, Our predictive actually. analytics team can help you see your business risks in greater detail to help you manage them better. Zurich Insurance. For those who truly love their business. Hello, everyone. Today's April 14th, 2015. Thanks for joining me today on the Moneybag 73 channel. Have you grown bored with gold? Do you have the silver blues? Have you been second guessing yourself lately? Well, I have just what the doctor ordered. You are in need of a dose of featured content headlines on Silver Doctors and goldensilver.com, my friend. So let's mosey on over and get you fixed up. William K. Derivatives likely to trigger major financial meltdown in 2015. Upside in precious metals is enormous. Bill Murphy, $100 silver is coming. Boy, his, his penis is pretty hard right now, right? Guarantee it. Bill Murray. <laughs> With sentiment near record lows, Gattis Bill Murphy advises listeners that $100 silver is coming. Oh, he just nutted in his pants after that one. Harvey Oregon, another massive silver deposit at J.P. Morgan. This is the fourth day in a row that we had a huge deposit. Silver arrive at J.P. Morgan. Harvey Morgan side. again. That's terrible. And Bernanke in the four-letter word that's been banished for decades. Gold. Moving on over to goldsilver.com. The American oh, yeah. consumer will never the be The massive back. con, man. Martin Armstrong. Gold set to rise to $5,000 an ounce. The coming gold rush. There's a lot less gold in the world. There are big, big problems. The shocker crushing the economy revealed. U.S. is in worse fiscal condition than Greece. Fiscal gap is $210 trillion. Actual debt to GDP, 211%. And if that can't put a smile on your faces... <laughs> you hear this guy laughing? That was somebody that really needs help. When you gotta laugh like that. <laughs> Please, dude. So let's get back into the video here. I gotta get this movie, this video rolling along here. So this is what the money bag started to try to call me out on. And I'm gonna show you how much of an idiot he was and how terrible, terrible, because he can't even come up with the truth. So he can't say anything about me. 
Hello, everybody. Today is December 22nd, 2015. Thanks for joining me today on the Moneybag 73 channel. So we're almost at the end of the year. Can't believe the year is almost over. Uh, we have record sales in silver for the American Silver Eagles once again. And record amounts of gold heading to China, Russia. The demand is off the charts, has been nonstop, but the price wouldn't tell you that. And many of you and I understand why that is, but that's not the topic of this video. This video is about understanding precious metals. Now, I believe that the Micmac 88, he, um, he messed up when he titled this video here. It should be misunderstanding precious metals. I feel sorry for the guy. He lost a lot of money. He was forced. I think he had some medical issue. He was forced to sell a lot of his silver. And apparently he got into it late 2011. 20, he bought near the high, I think, and was forced to sell. So I can understand how he's bitter about... No, oh, oh, hold up there, money bags. All the people you're pumping up here on your videos, which I'll get into your latest video. Okay. They're all, everybody was saying how undervalued silver is. It is the most undervalued asset class in, a, in history. But yet, when I bought from 28 to 35, everybody says, oh, Micmac, you bought at the high. Really? According to Harvey Morgan and everybody else, silver is going to be at $200. And you even have a video there, money bags. That silver should be at eighty-two hundred dollars an ounce. It's funny how all these people trying to come out and call me out. Oh, Micmac, you bought at the high, really? Who said on YouTube back in two thousand, July two thousand twelve, to September of two thousand twelve, when I pretty much really bought majority of like thirty thousand dollars worth of gold and silver? That silver was high nobody it's funny how they all come back like money bags trying to say all that shit when silver's at 14 and 13 dollars they everybody would have back then said that is impossible for silver to be at 13 14 dollars today including money bags so get off that that's lame and who said 15 to 50 when i sold it was actually low Silver has a great chance of going single digits. So actually, I sold at halfway point. If it hit single digits, then, right? Hmm. Bought at the highs. Funny how people come up with that years ago. Let's continue. Precious metals, but he seems to have a huge misunderstanding when it comes to understanding gold as money. I mean, he says that, you know, in 1928, 29, 30, people are jumping out of windows. And what'd that do to the gold price? Nothing. I mean, it was fixed. It was fi fixed. This is how this guy is so delusional in his world. First of all, he doesn't understand why people were jumping out the windows, which I did. This is my video. I'm sure some of you guys seen this. But... In this era, what what time frame was this in the United States? Okay, first of all, he never even bring up the facts of the United States why people were jumping out the window. Okay, this is what makes him feel like a fool now because it's called the the Great Depression that the United States had because of World War One. Got that moron? And for the price of gold to be fixed, these prices aren't fixed. Okay, that's twenty dollars and sixty-five cents for practically a century. That's when you say this is real sound money, right? That's what a kick. Uh, what do you call that? That's called a stable currency. Do you understand that money bags, or are you just that retarded and that brainwashed and thinking that all those years it's it was just fixed at twenty dollars it didn't go up to three hundred back down to forty dollars that's not what you want a currency to do you want it to be stable and gold proved to be stable but once the united states got into the first world war they realized that oh we cannot mine enough gold to spend these wars it's impossible. 
This is why the Roman Empire went down. The Athens went down. Because you can't mine enough gold to keep the, the flow going. The currency going. You can't expand it. You have to dilute it. And America wasn't going to dilute the gold in her coins like the Romans had to do. So they came up with another theory. So they took the person's gold or the citizen's gold and gave them what they was worth at that specific time, which was, I believe, $26 in 1933. And they revalued it a year later after they reset the economy and got this shit going in the right direction. And the area was stable again at $34 for decades until it went off the gold standard completely. Let's go on and literally smack this guy around some more. This, this guy makes himself too easy. Too easy. At least make it a little challenging. It's $20.67. What the heck is it going to do to the gold price? And then he talks. He just whitewashes the whole stealing of the private property of the American. You know, the average American who did hand in their gold. And then he says, you know, when they revalue. I never would wash about citizens. Get out of here, dude. You didn't even watch the video. Which I'm going to put the video on just for a minute, just to show I mean, you how idiot it is. A couple dollars being revalued. What's that? No, twenty six to thirty four. No big deal. Forty percent debasement of the currency, paper, nothings that the people were forced to use, is nothing. So, I... they you had it backed by gold, you moron. Things got stabled. Unbelievable. Learn your history. I feel sorry for people who come here. To Trying to learn about precious metals, they don't know anything, and they stumble upon this. And, you know, at least it's 20 to 27 on the thumb up to thumb down. I mean, most people understand a little bit that have watched this so far. But I wanted to point this out. You know, I've kind of gone back. No, those negative downs came from me crushing people like you. And then your subs coming over giving me thumbs down. Because you know why? Because the truth hurts and forth over the years with this guy here everybody goes back and forth with you because you're a moron you're not brainwashed you don't you don't come to reality you're delusional in his dream world of doomsday sheesh dude seriously pathetic you're an embarrassment i, mean, I don't have anything against him i don't think he's a bad guy or anything i feel sorry that he he lost a lot of money he keeps saying over and over again buy at any price buy at any price that's the worst thing to do buy at any price really money bags that's what i said well we'll get to that real soon well yeah if you're buying at the top and then you're forced to get out you know after hear that chuckle again he he bought at the top really I guarantee you when silver's at $30, you did never even thought that that was high. You thought, oh my God, it's going to the moon now. Silver's going to be $1,500 an ounce. Oh my God. After it cuts in half or whatever. So I just wanted you to at least check out the first 10 minutes of this. And maybe leave a comment. Or maybe we can have a discussion on my video. We'll see what you guys think. So he didn't even go to the video to show you what I said. So he put words in my mouth, and this is how he's going to act and feel like a fool. Because everybody that watches my channel knows exactly what I say. And I'm totally against buying it at any price. Now i got to find where I put that video. There we are. Understanding precious metals. Right here in the first minute and a half. Uh, cash is trash and all this other stuff. That can this and make videos about this and Straight trying to bags. convince people to not to do this that don't understand about it at least understand the field before you speak about it damn right there was nothing about for two and a half metals. years i was totally brainwashed in a buoyant form for the reasons i mentioned before but i was woken up after i lost twelve thousand dollars actually 16 and listening <laughs> to the words as buy at any price which is the key red flag. You hear anybody say, buy at any price, you stop that video and you run. That is the best advice I will ever give you. You see that? I say that tons of time in this video. As I easily explain, 
the prices of silver and gold throughout history, what they do, what they don't do, when time frames is great to be in it, what, what, when you're not, what kind of coins that will keep you afloat during the terrible times. I don't have to elaborate on what I do. Definitely don't. This guy's telling you stupid shit. $5,000 gold, $100 silver, and having wet dreams over Lindsey Williams. Please. Greg Hunter. Greg Manorino. Harvey Morgan. These are the people that he promotes. Including his latest video. Pathetic. The economic collapse is not a joke, people. Oh, yeah, because... Uh, Greg Manorino been saying it for the last four years. Silver is the most underrated value asset in history. Really? And yet it only devalued itself by 70% since he started talking about that shit. Right? He promotes that crap. Always the same thing, day after day, video after video. All he keeps saying, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Really? Well, I could tell you there, money bags. But Greg Manorino makes all his paper nothings from the stock market. Not from gold and silver. Okay. Getting into precious metals help helpful tips. And investing in collectible boin and numismatic coins and things like that. This is this is real precious metals. There's a lot more areas of precious metals than believing that gold and silver is gonna be these prices. <laughs> <laughs> Keep listening to that. And you're going to end up like what happened to this guy. But if you start listening to my newer updated videos from the last year and newer, when I woke up from the precious metals and learned what precious metals were all about, because there's many areas to invest in precious metals, which this guy is clueless about. Totally clueless. Duh. Harvey Morgan doesn't talk about that. Greg Manorino doesn't talk about that. Greg Hunter doesn't mention that. Of course not. They're all scammers. Greg Manorino paid. You got to pay him to watch his videos on YouTube, or at least he turned out to be once you got so many people brainwashed. People are giving her hard-earned money to listen to shit like this. Pathetic. And then you become like this. A mutant on YouTube. So there's your video, Mr. Moneybag73, that he was bugging me on yesterday's email. Where's that video? I'm with my full family the whole weekend for the holiday weekend. So if you want to be an ass about it, here's my ass moment for you. Go molest your son's bearded dragons. There you go. There's your translucent breed you can come up with. <laughs> you freaking mutant. Get lost. You're a pathetic. Everybody else, peace. I got some great videos coming up to show you the wise way to invest in precious metals and other areas to invest in precious metals that will help you as this guy is sucking the wealth away from his channel, his subs. I'm creating wealth in mine, giving you open your mind to other areas all areas of precious metals not just one that's doomsday all right so keep chuckling around waiting for your doomsday and your gold and silver is going to do nothing for you economic collapse total disaster please you'd be dead if there's an economic collapse and no but there's no currency flowing around people be raiding everything Gold and silver ain't going to do a damn thing, dude. Wake up. Those people are just taking your money and laughing at you. They're taking your paper nothing and becoming billionaires on it. Yeah, paper nothing, sure. Give me all your paper nothing. I'll take them all. I'll show you how to make money on top of money. And it ain't paper nothing. Peace. Love you all. Have a good one.